Hey everybody, I'm Derek Gilman, and today we're gonna discuss the role of set and setting. When we talk about set and setting, specifically what we're talking about is your mindset and the setting that you're in, your environment. The term set and setting comes out of psychedelic consumption because they determined that the experience that one would have while they were on psychedelics was greatly determined by the mindset that they had going in and the setting and the surroundings that they were in during their experience. And it turns out that it's not too different with cannabis consumption either. Cannabis does give you an altered state of reality and your mindset going in and the surroundings and setting and where you're consuming your cannabis definitely play a role in the type of experience you're gonna have. So let's start out with mindset. And with mindset specifically, you know, you could be happy before you start into your smoke. And more often than not, that cannabis consumption is just gonna make you happier. But maybe you're having a less than great day and there is the possibility that if you're angry enough over something or upset enough, and it's really just kinda working its way around there in your mind, consuming cannabis could just precipitate all that and just kinda get you into a downward spiral. What also affects your mindset is how awake or tired you are. Uh, when I say that specifically, I've got a little story. One time where I traveled overseas to China, took this 13 hour plane flight and effectively was sleep deprived and my body clock was turned backwards. And I check into this hotel in Shanghai and I'm ready to relax and just kind of smoke a joint and crash out. You know, I'd been awake for close to 24 hours at that point. I got high and had a really unique experience. Uh, it's only happened to me one other time under the same exact conditions, okay? Sleep deprived, body clock turned upside down. And the uh, experience I had, um, and you're gonna laugh at me when I say this, but I am convinced that I was able to have total recall of effectively any memory that I have had in my entire life. I was able to go back to any point in my life and remember with absolute clarity where I was, who I was with, the names of people, the smell in the air. And this was a direct, obviously a direct result of the state that my body and mind were in at the time that I consumed this cannabis. Cannabis that I had consumed countless times before, you know, in a different state of mind and had just a, a normal experience. You never want to discount the, the state of mind that you are in when you're consuming cannabis and how you're going to judge the effects of that particular cannabis. Beyond mindset, there's the setting, there's the surroundings that you are in. And what I've found is that you can oftentimes manipulate those surroundings, manipulate your setting, or put yourself into a place that you know is gonna help you maximize your enjoyment of your cannabis consumption. So what do I mean by that? Um, indoors is much different than consuming outdoors. Indoors, you have different lighting. Lighting that can be adjusted, either brighter or dimmer, to make things a little more intimate. You can light an incense. Indoors, you're typically more comfortable in the kind of furniture you're hanging out around in. You can control temperature. You can kind of really control the environment a bit more than when you're outdoors. Outdoors, however, gives you lots of things to interact with. There's nature, there's the sunshine, there's the wind, there's the aromas coming out of the trees and the flowers. So when it comes to your setting, look for a setting that just perhaps fits the mood you're in. You also wanna be mindful of the activity that you're planning for yourself when you're going to consume cannabis. You know, operating heavy machinery, probably not the best idea. A nice relaxing day down at the beach or hiking on a trail, going to see a concert, going to see a good movie. These are ideal times and uh, settings to consume cannabis in. So again, being mindful of these decisions can really help you shape 
type of experience that you have with your cannabis. Another part of your setting that you should really be mindful of are the tools that you interact with during your consumption experience. I just love to slip a joint into my finger ring cigarette holder here. And I also happen to be in one of my favorite places to consume today as well. Today we're filming here on the high roller set. Excuse me while I get this joint lit. The high roller set is a great example of mindfulness in the setting. When we put together the high roller set, we wanted to create an experience that would allow the guests that we'd bring in here on the show to be comfortable, okay? To be in a space that had this intimate lighting that kind of recreated an old social club or cigar lounge. We put in these rich leather club chairs, which is super comfortable. Uh, we put in these great accent pieces, the accent lighting. I can just tell you, you know, it's just a great time. Anybody who comes on to high rollers, one of the first things they say is, man, this is fantastic. Can't wait to get high here. <laughs> so the next time you're getting ready to light up, pay attention to what you're smoking, pay attention to how you're smoking it, but also pay attention to where you're smoking it. Pay attention to your mindset going in and put some intention into the mindset you'd like to have coming out of the back end of that experience. Until next time.